Only like 29 times. boxes to go. Exactly. Oh, she just killed Katie's arm. It takes so long to heat up your water. Why would you do that? Today is take down the Christmas tree day. All right, boys. I'm going in. <laughs> Good morning, everybody, or good afternoon, actually, everybody. Welcome to today's vlog. I'm sad to say the day has come. This is the day that we dread every year. It's the day we take down the Christmas decorations. <laughs> it's so exciting when you put up Christmas decorations because all the pomp and circumstance and the excitement of Christmas being just around the corner, and then you live through Christmas, it's the best thing ever, and then you realize after Christmas, there's 365 more days until Christmas the next year, and then comes the dreaded. Thanks. I know. Why would you ever like talk about taking Christmas decorations down? Because you just should never do that. Well, my friend last year didn't take her Christmas tree down, and she had a fake Christmas tree, and she ended up decorating it for each of the different seasons. Isn't that funny? Yeah. <laughs> I mean, if it works, it works. I know, but I don't think that dad would be hip on that. Dad is all about like sort of putting things away, keeping things clean and organized. So today is take down the Christmas tree day. And maybe other things as well. Oh, yeah, I like the stockings by the mantle though. Those are really nice. I don't want to take those down, but I think we have to. I think we have to. I think we have to, but that's okay. So I'll start with the inside and then we'll move to the outside. So I, I don't think... think. Well, I don't want to mess anything up. Oh so no, you should help me. Oh. Yes. Oh, oh, it looks like you're making, oh, are you making the mini waffles? I'm making mini waffles. Oh, Nana gave us a mini waffle maker. You guys, not like we need it. Ow! Oh, oh, oh it's on. that's plugged in. Oh, that hurt. Yeah, anyway, it's a can... mini waffle maker. Look how cute it is. It's so cute. Yeah. You make sure you oil that so it, they don't right. stick. You know I guess. what I'm saying? Mom, okay. you think this is the first time I made waffles or pickles? No, I know you're pretty um, hip to that, Jack. All right, I'm going to ask you some the Christmas tree. Let me take you guys down. It seems to be very sparse right now. I think a lot of the ornaments have started to fall off and the Christmas presents have been taken away. Oh my gosh. And then this is, we'll take this down as well. And then we'll redecorate our mantle for like for wintry stuff. I think it'd be beautiful. I think we're gonna leave that star there and I think I'm gonna hang it up because I do like that there and it kind of fits with the whole themey theme. But we'll make that decision here in just a few. No, it's not. Watching football. Who you got today, Brennan? Uh, Giants. The cat does not want to be here. The cat you wants to be here. Doesn't. And Daniel yes, Jones does. has to look how, she touch how much she loves me. No, okay. she doesn't. Good luck. Yeah, she does. Good Who do you party. have today, Brennan or Ryan? Uh, I have the Giants winning. I have the Dolphins winning, and um, I have the Chargers winning. So Good luck. Make it, the trifecta can hit. Michael John. Ryan could win a hundred dollars in the Whoa. family pool. In the family pool. pool? Yes. But That's fantastic. Kathy needs to drop three games. Yeah, Kath, today? Yeah, so... I'll Maybe she should call her and mess her up a little. Give her some bad like, advice. Yeah, you should, uh, <laughs> you should definitely pick the Jets. Right. <laughs> How about you, Mike? Who do you have today? Giants, they're my, they're my team. Yeah. yeah. They're doing pretty well this year. Fingers crossed. Congratulations. Well. Are right, you guys, comment down below what your favorite NFL team is, if you have one. Brennan, just, Brennan and Ryan today just watched the um, Man City the man they killed Chelsea. Three Kill one boys. Nice job. Good job, citizens. All right, I'm going to show you. Yes, yeah, citizens. Nice. I like that they call them that. All right, so you guys, everything is gone now. Look at all of our Christmas decorations are gone. I'm going to show you where they are. And then Ryan is going to help Dad put them away. If you guys haven't seen the video where Ryan and Katie got them out from our secret room, go watch that. Thank you, Michael, right there. And then... Oh, wait, no. Oh, shoot. I forgot about that. That's still there. Oh, I like that up there, though. She's I will take that down. Here. I thought you were pointing to where the video was if they wanted to watch the video. <laughs> the Hi, sweet baby girl. Did you just hear my knees crack? How are you? Huh? Some of the people that watch our videos, Alice, are asking for cat videos. So they want to see our kitties. I'm like, oh yeah, I can do that. There we go. She loves being scratched. So if you guys have not watched before, this is Alice. She has, still has her little Christmas color on. Look. This is her Christmas color. She has a little Christmas tree and a bell, of course. And then this has little Christmas trees around the outside. Now, if you haven't seen Edward's Christmas color, it is quite the spectacle. He has a little bow tie. Alice has a bow tie collar too, but she's not wearing it today. We're gonna go put the Christmas decorations away. Hi, Katie Kate. Hey. How are you, sweet girl? Good, how are you? Good. We're putting the Christmas decorations away into the secret room. Okay. Okay, do you wanna help us? Mm. No? 
No. Okay. <laughs> Tomorrow is back to school day. What do you think about that? I don't want to. Ryan, today is the last day of Christmas vacation. It's like I've been working that, so hard. That's really sad. I'm just so burnt out. Like, Wait, I cannot you be. You just took a vacation from school. What? Is Ryan. Someone, did someone use my mug? I'm sorry. D is your name Reich? Does your name start with an R? <laughs> I didn't think so. I think there's a Mike Donnelly Disney Instant. Oh, look at that. There's a there's a mic. No, I no. haven't. Because <laughs> each person has their own mic. I haven't nice. used Katie's. I haven't used yours. I haven't used yours. <sighs> I just used the blue ones until I got this one for it Christmas. It's better out of your mug. I'm gonna use it anyway. Oh. <laughs> wow! You wait a whole year to get our You've mug. been you've been rocking this mug for like ow, as ow, long ow, as ow, I ow, remember. Ow! 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 Get off! Uh, Oh she just clawed me, and now you're asking something. her what's she the just matter. Care for her? She just oh. ripped. Oh, she sorry. just killed Katie's <laughs> arm. I'm sorry, Katie. And then you're like, okay. oh, is she a good girl? <laughs> Are you Why did you no. do that, no. Alice? No. It's no. really turning you upside down. Like you used to like care for your family, but <laughs> they are part of my family. Right. Well, I know. Well, yeah, but if I just started punching like Katie as hard as I could, would you be like? It's okay, right? Yeah, no, I wouldn't. You're exactly. exactly right. All right, all right, all right. I understand what you're, where you're coming from. Okay, listen. I proof watched the video of Katie making an omelet, and now I'm kind of in the mood to do a video of like me how to make something. tea. Yeah. All right, you got this for Christmas, didn't you? I did. Yeah. All right, show us what kind of tea. It's it my is. favorite tea. Okay, so look, it's the passion fruit mango herbal tea. From. From. It's herbal, Ryan. Herb. I say herbal. You can yeah. say herbal. No. It's okay. Yeah. It's, it's a Harry and David tea, and okay, it's let's see it up, up close. So if you guys want, this is like with, this is not sponsored at all. We no, just, absolutely I, get this. You just got some for Christmas. Exactly, and we got my new water mug. Okay, so how do you make tea? Here we go. So just some water. It doesn't really matter the temperature. Like neutral is good. Don't put the tea bag in yet. Put it in here. We like you. We use our microwave as like storage space for a free <laughs> item. So exactly, we. exactly. <laughs> When dad doesn't know where to put stuff, he's just like, okay, it goes in the microwave. And then every time you have to microwave something, you just take it out, microwave your thing, and then put them back in. <laughs> Two minutes, get that water nice and heated, get it All nice right. and. Can I ask you a question? Bit. Yes. All of our friends from England always ask, why do they microwave their water? Why don't they have a kettle? Now we not only had a kettle. Yes, I used to have a kettle. And I mean, I had one because I love it. And a whistle. Woo! Woo! Exactly. It takes so long to heat up your water. Why would you do that? So, like, put it in the microwave and boom, listen, hot water. Listen, listen, listen. I wonder, water. okay, let me ask you this question. Do you, okay, so in England, do you guys have microwaves? I'm pretty sure you do, right? right. I'm, I'm, I'm pretty sure you have microwaves. So the, so the reason why we don't have a kettle is because um, when we, we fill the water, and then put it on the stove, and it takes a really, really long time. So it takes longer than two minutes to heat the water. So it's just as simple, actually simpler, to put it in the microwave to heat the water if you're gonna then put tea in. Because oftentimes we wouldn't know like 15 minutes before we wanted tea that we had to wait 15 minutes for the kettle to heat up. Now, it might be, let me just say this, it might be that in England, it's, I, I have no idea you guys if this is the case, but do you keep your stove on all the time and just constantly have like kettle warming and then you turn it up to heat it for tea? Because they drink so much tea maybe? I, I have no idea. If you drink tea that often, I, I, I don't, I don't, I don't, I thought they didn't actually drink that much tea. No, I, I think, I think people in England Could do be. drink a lot of tea, more than us probably. Uh, so anyway, so I have no idea. So you guys comment below, please tell us why you use a kettle and not a microwave. The reason, the reason we use a, a microwave is just because it's faster and you don't have to heat up a whole bunch of water. You heat up one mug at a time. So that's why we do that. So I'm, I'm just anxious to hear because we got a lot of comments. All right, so what you got here, Ryan? You heat up the water. Uh, so it's nice and steaming. Uh, the handles always are just a little bit too hot so it kind of burns your finger when you take it out of the microwave. See? That's kettle. how you know it's perfect. <laughs> okay. That would I be mean, if you're, if you're a little like crybaby, you can go grab a tissue and do it. But Or you could do what I do. And I when I make my coffee, I heat my water. Oh, I in this for two minutes, and this but, doesn't get hot. Oh. And look, 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 it just slowly you put tea bag in. gets the color. Huh? And now you're supposed to. And stir you take it. it. Yes. Huh. And you squish it up against the side, just so you can get the maximum flavor. Flavor. Okay. And then you just keep stirring, stirring. Just let it kind of sit. Seep. Seep exactly, and you can like pin it against the bottom and kind of stir it. I like to do that. That gets the flavor. What out if you it. accidentally open the tea bag and the tea? That was sick. I did that once. Leaf. That'd be terrible. Stinks. 
We don't have sugar. Oh, I know. We ran out of sugar oh. when we made all our, our Christmas cookies oh and everything. Oh, my God. Would you, would you like a, um, I mean, we honey? can do, we, like, honey in your tea is good, but it's not like sugar. Right. Sugar gives it that added stuff. Ew. So you could just eye the honey, which is what I usually do, but I'm just going to pour it into the spoon. Oh, so, that's a good idea. Do you want me to so, stir it for you? I can, I got it, I got it, I got it, I got it. Okay. So just a little spoonful of honey, maybe just tap. A spoonful of honey, honey. helps them. I would sing a spoonful of sugar, but we don't have any sugar. Uh, uh, and then, so it doesn't like all go to the bottom, because if you pour it in, it just goes on the bottom. We'll just do that and just stir it lightly on top. Okay, now you're making me want to have a tea. I'm gonna make a tea. Make it's a tea. so good, and a winter night, oh, oh my gosh. <laughs> I won't have your special tea. Not, 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 not with tea. these. That's okay, easy. I'll grant you one tea bag. Okay, you you've been eating my chocolate. It's not. Everyone's been eating your chocolate. Oh, I didn't even know it right? was yours. Make it right? I didn't even know. Yeah, I said. Yeah, if everyone robs someone and you rob someone, it's okay. <laughs> oh, I see. If you just because everyone's doing it, it's the new trend. <laughs> nice. Oh, so, oh my gosh. Superb. Is it good? Oh, superb. Ah. Oh my gosh. Congratulations. Yeah, man. it was pretty All right, dark. Fill your belly with some nice warm stuff and we'll go up and put away nice the Christmas decorations. Nice warm stuff? Like, no, warm wait, tea. Oh, like chocolate. And then we'll put away the Christmas decorations. No, wait, not like chocolate. So I have my um kind of messy stuff on. These sneakers are actually kind of like my everyday sneakers. But, um, like, that's fine. That's a good black t-shirt. What if you get dust all over that t-shirt? It's already dusty. Oh, okay. You just probably just can't see it in the camera, but okay. it's really dusty. Um... Also, a little fun fact about me, this is my like go-to airplane shirt. Like usually on airplanes I'll wear like a sweatshirt or like a jersey because I love wearing jerseys because people usually comment on it. But this is my go-to airplane shirt if I'm going somewhere because it's like I never know what to air wear on airplanes. I know it's not that deep, but it's like like just a black shirt. Just get a get yourself a black shirt. Yeah. And just wear it on airplanes and you're fine. <laughs> okay. I saw this guy though once in the airport with a shirt that said this is my airplane riding shirt and I was like <laughs> that's what I need. I was like, give me that, please. <laughs> I should have asked for that for Christmas. I didn't um, realize it was that deep. Okay. Anyway, <laughs> I know oh, it is not supposed shirts. to be it is not supposed to be, but it's so like me to make it that deep. That's very funny. Um and then I have these shorts which I spilled paint on a long time ago, so now they're my like like, I'll mow the lawn in these, like, I'll do whatever. Okay. Nice. Exactly. All right, so why did Ryan get in his work clothes? He did because we have all of this Christ these Christmas decorations. We have one, two, three, uh -huh. four, five, six, seven, eight boxes and, and a tree. And that's not all of it. And Christmas decorations aren't dirty. No. But where they're going kind of is. Is dirty, exactly. This is why it's the saddest day of the year. We're putting, away, it's like putting away all the fun. It's like that, packing all the fun so it's like, into six boxes and putting it all away. It's like, like what I'd compare it to, it's like going to Sky Zone and just taking a knife and ripping up all the trampolines and throwing away all their foam balls. Oh, that's Like so that's sad. what this feels like to me. I know. But, but the good thing is the trampolines will be stitched back together and the foam balls will be Re put back in. Put back in next, next Christmas. Exactly. <laughs> so, exactly. Yeah. Um, All right. So we're gonna put these in a nice little um, hideaway area. So and come back and get them next you, year. <laughs> if you watch our like secret room video, then you'll know where they're going. Where are these going? All right, boys. I'm going in. <laughs> oh, that is dusty. Now it looks that. like a Halloween. Scene because there's like cobwebs and dust just hanging down. Right. You're gonna anyway. be fine though. I'll be here making sure you're okay. You can escape if you need to. Perfect. All right. Okay. <sighs> All right, wait. There's a pipe right in the entrance, so you gotta lift it over the pipe. And if I put stuff on it, then we're not gonna have any more air <laughs> for the house. It's, a, it's an HVAC bed. Ow! Oh, oh, I just stepped on that nail. Oh, ouch! Geez. Okay. Ah, got her over, boys. This is a treacherous. Uh, <laughs> oh, it smells so bad. <laughs> undercoming or undertaking. Well, a visitor joined us. Hi, Hi Edward. Buddy. Look at this bow tie, guys. I was telling you about it. Oh There's my a bow tie. God. It's Isn't it cute. Uh, what a mom thing to do to put a bow tie on Edward. <laughs> oh my gosh. Honestly, though, I'm not gonna scrutinize it because I kind of like the bow tie. You like the bow tie? Hey, Edward. Okay, there's another big pipe. Okay. Okay. I'll get through it. Hey, and there's stuff hanging down from the ceiling. Oh, don't bang your head. I'm crushing my hand. Oh, shoot. <laughs> 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 
Every time I move the pipe, a burst of dust is coming out. Oh no. Oh, oh. oh! I meant to push that back, but I pushed it over. Oh, what is that stuff? No, that's just insulation. You're good. Okay, right. Oh, it's like the cotton candy. Yeah, exactly. Hey, buddy. Hi, sweet boy. How are you? I'm good, thanks. You got it? <laughs> All right, you only have to do only that like 29 times. boxes to go. Exactly. What are you working on, buddy? Little uh, college application. Oh my gosh, when are those gonna be done? You've been working like a um, fiend. Um, hopefully by February. <laughs> okay. Wow, that's a lot. Yeah. What made you happy today? It's my boy Justin Herbert turning up for all the Chargers fans, man. Most passing yards, second most passing yards by a rookie ever. Most completions by a rookie ever, and most touchdowns by a rookie ever. All with one last game played. Only played. Uh, 15 games a season. He broke all the records, put on for the Chargers. He's got to be offensive rookie of the year. If he's not, I'm going to be very upset. That is so fantastic. He's a big baller. That is awesome. Go Justin Herbert. Go yes, Chargers. Sir. Congratulations. All right. Have a great night. I love you. I love you. Love you too. What made me happy today was everything. Really? Even though it was the saddest day of the year. I know. Um, I shower when I clean my room. Chargers won. Herbert went, got, had the most completions by a rookie. Broke that record today. Second most in passing yards, so <laughs> solidified his best rookie season. It was exactly what made Brendan happy. And now I'm sitting down, and the Giants won. And if the Eagles can pull this out, then the Giants will be in the playoffs, which would be insane, but I don't know if they are gonna. And now I'm playing one of my favorite games. Excellent. Not much to complain about. A good way to end up the last night of Christmas vacation. Absolutely. That's right. Absolutely. All right. I love you. Me too. What made you happy today, Kate Elizabeth? Oh, my pimple. Oh, no. What the heck? Oh, it's okay, baby girl. It's okay. Yeah. What made you happy today? Hanging out with Kate. Excellent. So what made me happy today was, um, is it made me sad to pack up all the Christmas stuff. And it's a, a bit of a chore and a bit sad because I feel like we ended it a little bit early. Sometimes we let it, we keep it for like a couple more weeks. It's not even the 12 days of Christmas yet. That does not end until January 6th. We are truly blessed to have had a wonderful Christmas and health and happiness for our whole family. And um, it was wonderful. So I hope you guys had a wonderful last week and a wonderful day today. Comment below what made you guys happy today and we'll see you tomorrow. Bye. Thanks for watching. Be sure to thumbs up and subscribe. See you later.